so, so, so sorry that this video is coming to you late. Usually I post on Thursdays if you're new to my channel. Thursdays are the normal time, and if you hear any background fun, weird stuff, it's because my cat's playing with the ball that spins in circles. So today is Friday. This will be posted on Saturday. But Thursday was my 20 week weigh in. So let's get to stats first because we all like the stats. My highest weight was 245. Here's a picture. My pre up weight, it was 220. My surgery weight was 208. Uh, the last seven weeks, I've had a stall at 165 to 168. So I just had lost maybe over 50, 55 pounds since surgery or since pre-op weight, I've lost 55 uh, pounds. Last week, I came to you at that stall. No joke, the next day, I weighed myself and out of the blue, I lost three pounds. I'm down to, I was down to 163 as of this morning, 163.0. So I'm headed to 162. Seven weeks I stayed in between 165 and 168 and fluctuated between those three pounds for seven weeks. Crazy stall. I'm so glad I'm over it and I broke it again. So that happened. I'm so excited that I finally broke my stall. I can get back on what I was doing. I actually really didn't change anything. I'm not more active. I do feel like I may have a little bit more energy, but I was sitting in the hospital when I broke my stall. I wasn't being active. I did go back a little bit in like a couple of days. I did have like just protein shakes and just meats to have some of that extra protein to just, I just made sure I had a ton of protein. I really think that helped a lot. I wasn't adding any carbs to my diets. I didn't add any um, fats or calories. I lowered my calories significantly because um, I've been eating a lot and realized that my stomach can handle a lot of foods without problem. And that's a problem. Yesterday, however, on the way home, <coughs> I'm home, my little Christmas decorations behind me. Uh, on the way home, we stopped at Carl's Jr. and Elijah got an Oreo cookie milkshake. Well, I drank half of it because it tasted so good. Uh, just an FYI, don't, just don't, just, just don't even bother because I took that one sip and it was like crack cocaine to me. Oreo milkshake is like crack cocaine to me. I took one sip and I couldn't stop and I kept on sipping until I was full. So because I was a bad girl, I ended up dumping this morning. And let me tell you what, dumping is not a pleasant experience. Dumping, for some of those who are new, uh, not a lot of uh, VSGers do dumping, but I do. And that's good for me because then it can keep me on track and I hate the feeling, man. Just sweating up a storm, just sweating bullets, you're throwing up, and excuse me, TMI, but diarrhea just coming out both ends, and you're just like holding on to the bathroom, going, oh my god, it's just absolutely horrible. Just one of the worst feelings. I think it's worse than the flu bug. It's just, it, it, it comes and goes quicker than the flu bug, but the pain sensation, the cramping sensation is just absolutely horrible. So um, when I threw up, I tasted. I know this is all TMI, but I, I knew it was from the shake because I tasted the shake when I threw up and I'm like, oh yeah, that didn't even digest in my system overnight. It just sat in my stomach and then came back up. OMG, so gross. Uh, as what is Jimmy Sa uh, Fallon says, ew. <laughs> so let's move on. My next Google Hangout is gonna be after Thanksgiving sometime, um, I would say in the middle of December. I haven't picked a specific date yet. But the next Google Hangout is going to be a never in my wildest dreams tag. I saw the tag and I was tagged in it by someone, I don't remember who it was. The Google Hangout is gonna be a tag between several of us that are on the Hangout. So um, if you are going to be on the Google Hangout and I'm gonna try to pick um, those who haven't been in it yet, think about never in your wildest dreams have I ever thought I would be riding a roller coaster. So make it uh, the subject around weight loss surgery. So never in my wildest dreams have I ever thought 
I weigh this much again, or be down to this much, or lose 100 pounds, etc., etc. So write down about three or four items for the next Google Hangout for those who want to be part of the Google Hangout. And when it comes close to that time, I will announce it when, where, blah, blah, blah. A shout out to new YouTubers, The Sleeve Reprieve. Uh, her link's down below. She is going to be getting her surgery very, very, very soon. So go get, uh, go subscribe to her and give her some encouragement. Uh, let's talk about a couple of things and then I'm gonna get on to me getting a wig. I got a wig. Uh, the first one is, I am very inconsistent. Uh, especially when it comes to pills and eating. And this is my biggest, biggest downfall. I am so inconsistent with ev almost everything, almost everything, except for YouTube. Well, YouTube's the only consistent thing that I have for my daily vlogs, but for my weekly vlogs, obviously I'm inconsistent because I'm posting this on a Saturday and not a Thursday, but um, pretty much almost everything. I have a problem. It is my biggest downfall is inconsistency. Staying with what I need to do stay with. Like for instance, I'm not consistent with my vitamins and pills. I have a hard time swallowing pills. But the biotin, they're small enough that I don't mind swallowing those. And the D3, they're small enough and they're gel capsules and they're easy to swallow. Any other pill, you wouldn't catch me. I would almost purposely uh, skip them because they're hard to swallow. Um, but with vitamins and pills, I have the hardest time staying consistent every day. I'm working on it though. I have it next to me, near me, so when I wake up, I see it and that's the first thing I grab is my pills and my vitamins. And I can totally tell the difference when I don't take my pills and vitamins. As well as food inconsistent with food. I'm not doing this. I'm always wanting a different taste all the time. And that was always my thing before. I'm always finding new foods. Uh, I'm always wanting to try my limits and I'm very inconsistent with staying with those things that my stomach says I need to stay with. So I'm working on that as well of being consistent. That is my biggest downfall is inconsistency. I just can't, I, I have the, ever since I was little, I've just had the hardest time with sticking with something and staying with it. And um, it goes for rules around the house and whatnot. So positive thoughts, okay guys? It's pretty bad. <laughs> okay, so next, non-scale victories. My biggest non-scale victory this time is walking uphill without getting out of breath. Uh, there is a parking lot structure by the hospital and you have to walk uphill to the hospital. And when I weighed more before the surgery, I would get out of breath just walking up a little short amount from the parking to the hospital. Going upstairs, I would get out of breath. And I noticed while pulling a wagon full of luggage and stuff, I literally sped walk up that hill without getting out of breath. And I got to the top and I felt like Rocky. Do you know his theme song? And I felt like I was Rocky climbing up those stairs. Maybe one day I'll do something like that. But uh, I, was, I was just so proud of myself that I was able to walk up without needing to stop and take a breath and breathe and trying to get out of get out of breath you know so i'm very proud of that non-scale victory amazing so whether i was in a stall or not that non-scale victory took over whatever the scale said so i was very happy with that i went to hairsisters.com and i searched around for half wigs i didn't want hair extensions because i didn't want to pull my hair out and you guys see how thin this puppy is so really quick, I'm gonna show you how I put this wig in and show you what it looks like. So this is the before. How thin this is. Look at this, it's horrible. So let's do an after. Here's after. See all this hair? And personally, I love long hair so I got a long wig now there's other wigs out there that are curly 
There's other wigs out of there out there that are short, so you don't have to have such a long wig. But the long hair suits me very well. So I went with a really long, long hairstyle. And I'm wearing this to Disneyland when we go to Disneyland in two weeks. So uh, I'm gonna have like some ears just popping up over like this and it'll keep my hair on. I'm so super excited that I got these from Hair Sisters. They were having a sale at the time. I will leave the link down below in the description box so you guys can, excuse me, that's another part of surgery is losing your boobs, so I have to adjust all the time. But you can uh, go down there and check it out. I got the half wig. The half wig is the easiest out of all of them. I don't. I didn't want a full head wig. I didn't want a, um, extensions. I didn't want any of that. A half wig seemed to work really well. I like the fact that it just combs right in and then I could take it out every night and uh, redo it every day. And it took usually takes me about five minutes without trying to do a tutorial. I just put it in and uh, get it, get her done. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? Let me know what you think if you like the hair. My hair was already dyed black. Remember I showed you guys last week that I dyed my hair black? So I decided to go for a black. I got another wig, which is more of a dark brownish with some highlights in it. Beautiful color highlights. And so once my black starts fading out and maybe I wanna change my hair color back to a brown, I have that too. So they were, I think they were 16 to 18 bucks a piece on sale. I don't know how much they are now, but I got two for the price of $32. So I was very, very happy with this. Anyway, this video is getting very long and we will see you guys all next week for my next weigh in. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and uh, thank you so much to all the new subscribers who subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. If you did subscribe to my channel and you are going to go through surgery yourself or just going through surgery and you have a YouTube channel, let me know. Let me know your channel and I will come to your channel and I will subscribe to you and um, watch you as well. I love spending hours, <laughs> uh, intervals, uh, watching you guys on YouTube and I will comment and say hi on your channel as well. So make sure you press that really red subscribe button and we'll see you guys all next week for week 21. Love you guys, ciao. Uh, I just wanted to say, um, uh, and, um, uh, um, but, uh, and, uh, uh, um, you know, um, uh, uh, I'm, I'm just, blah, 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 blah. Well, Uh, <coughs> um, jeez. Oh, crap, I thought I could get that.